Hey guys, Marty here from Nintendo Dads, and look, look, oh my gosh, Mega Man 11 demo version is out. Oh my lord, I am so excited about this. I uh, didn't even know we were getting a demo of this at all, but huge thanks to Capcom for dropping one, because I am so flipping excited for this game. Words cannot describe how excited I am about Mega Man 11, and to get to play one level less than a month before we get ready to go uh, and buy the game, huge, huge, so much fun. I've already played through this demo once, but I'm going to play through it again on casual for you guys uh, right here, and uh, as you see at the very beginning, you get a description of the double gear system and also a tutorial on the double gear technique, but we're not going to get into that. What we're going to do is we're going to take on Block Man, uh, one of the new eight, one of the eight new robot masters. You can see here where all the others would be. I uh, wish that we could play them as well, but instead we're going to fight Block Man. Love this aesthetic for this game that Capcom has chosen to completely like uh, do a complete redesign on Mega Man. Uh, the art is fantastic. The sound is gorgeous with some typical Mega Man sounds. And uh, right here, I'm just going to kind of give you an idea of what what you can do during the game. Uh, you see that uh, there's two powers included. I believe that's Impact Man and uh, I think Thunder Man or something. You press Y to shoot. You can hold it to charge up. B jumps. X brings in Rush Coil. That's a permanent uh, ass assignment. Uh, a doesn't do anything, but uh, ZL and ZR swap between uh, powers, and you can see uh, as well what they do. That's Impact Man, and here is the other one. Uh, strangely, you have to jump into the air to take care of this one and use it. It actually has an up uh, attack as well with uh, L and, or I mean, uh, the left stick and Y. You can also power up by using the power gear, and that gives you a bigger explosion with Impact Man and also bigger uh, lightning balls there with uh, that power. Uh, but you can see I also ran it down. When that uh, red bar gets all the way up to the top, then you're not going to be able to use that power or the double gear system for a while uh, until it goes back down and you come out of the red zone and Mega Man stops sparking. Uh, with the power shot, you can also get an extra bolt there when you shoot. And uh, with, the, um, with the speed gear, you can also slow down time. And uh, you can do this by pressing L for the power, shot, uh, power gear and R for the speed gear. And so let's see what speed gear does uh, right here. If I press the R button, you'll notice that everything slows down except Mega Man. And uh, this comes in incredibly handy. Um, allows you to get around obstacles. Also allows you to tackle certain enemies like this one, uh, which only has one open space. And that is incredibly annoying if you don't have the speed gear taken care of. And for this Skull Smasher, we'll, we'll try to defeat that. But actually, we want him to hit us so that we can get up to the secret and we'll kill him here, hoping we can get some uh, power-ups or something. Not really. Uh, let's see how the speed gear helps us defeat this enemy for the first time. It's going to come around. It's going to give us an opening for us to blow that up. Really cool. Super easy to change on the fly. Guys, I can't tell you enough how much I love this game and how much I love uh, how fluid it is already. I hope that you can see that by the way that Mega Man moves, to the way he jumps, to the way you charge things up. Everything is meant to be at your fingertips and handy and accessible. Uh, they've really done a really good job of kind of reimagining the Mega Man universe here. So let's keep going. There's a Met, and uh, now you can charge up and you can hit him, and it kind of rocks him back, and it lets you get a shot in without him shooting at you. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, and I forgot to mention this, that the slide is in there too with down and B. If you'll just uh, press down in the B button, uh, you'll slide away. And so let's see if we can get this guy right here uh, and maybe even go up and get the other guy. I actually red zoned it there, unfortunately, so we'll have to wait until <laughs> we can get him. And uh, this is the uh, kind of the, the pause screen where you can select uh, from weapons. You can see Mega Man's appearance changes. You can see we've got five lives and 200 uh, screws. You can have up to nine lives. Starting on casual, you get five lives to begin. Uh, starting on normal, you get two lives. There's an energy tank, a weapon tank, a mystery tank. Uh, there's going to be uh, items that you can equip, which is uh, there's a super guard. There's Eddie, or as I like to call him, Flip Top, because that's what they called him when they first introduced him. Beat and a mystery item. And over here, 
manual and auto upgrades. I'm, I'm sure there's going to be ways to uh, stop the double gear uh, system from, you know, charging up so or losing its power so fast. I, I At least I hope so. And we missed that. Let me get him right here. Yes. Okay. But redlined again. It's really, really quick. And really, really touchy. Uh, Blockman's stage here kind of, you know, kind of reminds me of the Underground in Mario 2 because of the color. And Speed Gear is really going to help on this guy because you can kind of slow down time and get in position to blast him. And charge up a little bit. You only get a few seconds right here. But he's kind of easy. There's a there's uh, another one that you're going to fight later on in the stage that's not as easy because of the floor. But let's move on. Got a Skull Smasher. You get up there and get a big energy, but we don't need that. Let's keep going. And took that one. Well, I didn't mean to take that out. I was thought I would have to slow down, but definitely. This game definitely has regular Mega Man difficulty. And what I mean by that is if you are familiar with Mega Man games, then you'll know that uh, they can be quite difficult. And it's not always enemies. It's hazards in the stage, like these advancing there. And, ah, oh, died. See? Like I said, it's, it may always be. It, you, you never know what you're going to fight. You never know what you're going to find in a Mega Man stage. And even though I've played through these several times, that, that really caught me off guard. I didn't expect that to happen. So let's go back through here, maybe get this guy. Those those are not my favorite enemy in the world. The thing is, is if you know, if like I'm I'm thinking about Dr. Wiley, right? If I'm Dr. Wiley, I'm gonna make all of my I'm gonna make all of my robots all out of that same metal that that outer ring is made out of, right? So Mega Man's buster just bounces off of it. Why do, why doesn't he make all of them? Now we're gonna wait on this one. I've heard some people complaining about the, the different things that you have to slide through and jump through there, you know, being the same size as Mega Man's body and different things like that. And so um, I think some people were calling it a glitch or I'll just jump over that. They may just be not good at it. I don't know. This this is a really hard room. Died several times here. In fact, the first time I played through the level, this is where I got a game over. Because you've got to deal with these blocks continually continually dropping. You've got to deal with the little helicopter dudes constantly coming after you. And thankfully, they're one shot. You'll notice the way I play most Mega Man games. With If there's a charge shot, I keep it charged at all times. Because if you're not doing that, then, I mean, bro, what are you doing with your life, right? And we've now um, transitioned from daytime to sunset. It's apparently taken Mega Man a while to get through the first part of Blockman's uh, fortress here, but uh, love that the detail that's applied to the stages and there's, you know, this giant um, ziggurat in the back and it looks like it's smiling at you, like it might be Blockman, I don't know. But I definitely noticed right there a difference from casual to normal, there were more enemies at that at that main platform there. And uh, here we go. We've got Tire Guy again. And now we've got a conveyor belt floor. You definitely need the speed gear here. This one is super hard without it. And I, I think that one thing I've learned from this demo is it just shows just how necessary this uh, double gear system is going to be. Uh, they could have just made it like a little throwaway thing, but they didn't. They actually have made it integral to the game. Uh, my only hope is that they didn't make it so integral to the game that you have to have it. And this, this guy right here, look at that, like, evil flip top. God, I hate him. I think that's the first time we've seen him in the series, and not the only time we're going to see him in the stage. Here you're definitely going to need speed gear. Take these uh, guys out and we'll take a hit there. Didn't want to take a hit there, but okay. Do a little... Mining there. No, we don't need to. Everything's filled up. Kind of reminds me of Metal Man stage right there where all the little drills are coming up through the floor. Uh, and this uh, second time with the with the uh, crusher behind you, this looks a little bit more difficult. Here you're going to have to do this. Slide under, slide under, slide through. And that should... Shaking. There is an energy tank. Let's go ahead and grab that. Get Rush Coil here and we'll jump on him and go straight through him. 
At least we get to start back here, right? And this time, yep, nailed it. We'll go through here. We're getting really close to Block Man. Just a couple more screens here. Uh, and this one, this one is super difficult. Uh, you got to watch out for these blocks that are falling. They're also on conveyor belts. And you're going to actually need to use one of these blocks to jump on another block to jump on that platform up there. So it gets a little tricky. Well, step one, two, three. There you go. Oh, almost got crushed. That would not have been good. Uh, and, you, you know, you can definitely use the uh, the speed gear there to make things a little bit easier. Watch out for these. And so we'll switch over to this and take care of him. Those little invisible enemies, the like the, the flower petal things, I, I really like those. So notice you got Block Man back there and kind of like a, a seal or a symbol. Just all the little details in these stages are really cool. They're really taking their time with this game. And I'm I'm just makes me more excited to see you know what's gonna happen from in, in the other stages. And it seems like they they're really it taking this seriously, you know, as like a revival of Mega Man, and I hope this does well. And there he is again still uh, and here we are. It's nighttime. You got the cool little shooting stars there. It's fully night. We've got Dr. Wily symbol. We've got the open, you know, the the gate that opens, and we are gonna go in and take out Blockman. Here we go. Slide in there. Blockman's gonna come down. He's gonna give us a little bit of uh, a speech there. And uh, what he's basically gonna do, Block oh, this just confirms Blockman is a punk. You hit him, he jumps, he uses block dropper on you. Same thing, and you're going to wear him down to about a, a two-thirds of his life bar, and then he's going to take an unfair advantage, and he's going to transform into Giant Blockman, who has three attacks, basically, that you're going to see here. One of them is like a palm strike that I totally just got hit by. There's a, a punch, a diagonal punch, and then there's this uh, that is like a, a rake. I hate that one. It's hard to dodge. Um, I usually do way better than, I'm, like last time I did way better than this. You can hit that uh, red core on the down step there, or just wait for him. And you could slide under that, uh, usually. You know what, I'm going to use, yeah, yeah, I'm just going to use a energy tank, and that way I'm sure that I'm going to win. So you're going to have to take this uh, this guy's life bar all the way down to zero. Uh, and then he becomes Blockman again, and uh, he basically just goes to the corner, and he's going to shoot all of these blocks at you. You can jump over them, slide under them, but what you mainly want to do is time a, a, a fully charged Mega Buster shot to hit him. And when you do that, you're you're just gonna you're gonna get him. One more, yeah, there we go. Hashtag Bust Blockman, we did it. And that is the end of the demo, unfortunately. I wish that I could keep playing this game. Capcom, if you are listening, please, can I have an advanced copy? I'll review it. I'll make videos. I'll do whatever. Uh, I love that redesigned art of Mega Man, and I love the fact that, uh, you know, now there's a transformation involved when when he switches to powers and so we got block dropper and I, I think this will probably continue on to the new uh game as well now you can demo the the weapons uh and you can try them out so here we're, we're using this the powered up version of block dropper or the regular version of block dropper uh and it just makes me wonder which uh robot master you know this is going to going to be for i, I really don't know and so Guys, uh, I listen. I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend this game. I can't tell you enough how good it is, how fluid it is, how how well it plays. Uh, it's only going to be thirty dollars when it comes out, and if you are a Mega Man fan or even a casual fan of Mega Man, uh, I highly recommend it. If you're a fan of the Blue Bomber, you are not going to be disappointed at all uh, by this. And so, guys, look forward to this game coming out October 2nd. As usual, you can keep it locked right here at Nintendo Dads for all our videos, previews, news, reviews, 
opinions and all that. Also, watch our podcast on Thursday night as it's recorded live and downloaded on Friday at iTunes, Google Play, and Stitcher. As usual, we want to say thank you so much to our fans and our patrons for making everything we do here at Nintendo Dads possible. And thank you for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it, and I hope you pick up this game when it comes out because it's going to be phenomenal. For the rest of the crew at Nintendo Dads, I'm Marty signing off. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.